What's up YouTube, it's Mari aka F1 with the World Media Channel. Today we're coming to you with the Dyson Pure Hot Plus Cool Link. In regards to this, this is one of the you know most comfortable purifiers that I've actually had. In terms of form factor and capabilities, I believe this has you know one of the top features in terms of technology moving forward in terms of you know comfortability. But to start things off, we can talk about the pros for this machine. They do have other models, Dyson, they manage manufacture three different models that have these features in terms of cooling, heating, and purifying the air. For this model, this is the HPO2. This is the middle of the family in terms of features. The HPO4 has the LCD screen and a little bit more features in terms of filters, while the HPO1 doesn't have the Wi-Fi capabilities, nor the Google Home or the Alexa capabilities. So this model is actually, you know, up there in terms of uh, connecting to your phone, making sure that you can see what's going on in the air, control the Dyson, make sure that, um, you know, it's on the right mode. It has a sleep timer and things of that nature. So I definitely want to, you know, tap into the, the main features of this, but also tell you the cons about this as well. Something that's always near me in terms of whether I'm working or watching a movie. This is something that I make sure that I have around to make sure that the air is clean, but it also makes sure that the temperature is comfortable for us really hot in the summer so during the summertime using the cooling fan is something that we'll always be using and making sure that we're, we're keeping cool and comfortable during that time as well being that it is the hbo2 model the hbo4 model has an lcd screen that shows you the real-time air quality and the hazardous chemicals or pollutants that are in your air but the hbo1 does not have the uh, capabilities to connect to wi-fi to this model does that's why they have the link in the feature. It also has this remote that sticks to the top magnetically. Pretty great. It reminds me of an Apple remote um, in terms of just the aluminum and the minimalist design of the, the remote. You can go ahead and take off the, the filter like this. And this is how you would replace the filters. I actually didn't touch on that. The filters do come about 50 to $70 uh, for replacement. And depending on the usage would be how, how much you'd be replacing the filter. The HPO4 goes to 350 degrees. The HPO1 goes to 70 degrees. And this model goes to 180 degrees. Dyson really separates the market like that in terms of the prices and the features that the different models possess. Just like the cordless vacuum models, the V7, the V8, the V10, they do have different features and they do boast different standby times charging times things of that nature it gets pretty sticky when it comes to you know the price and what you're paying for so you actually have to look into it really in depth but for this model it comes in the middle in terms of pricing as well but i think you get the most bang for your buck in terms of pricing and the features that you do get so you know being that you can't connect to your phone you can't use it for google home you can see what's in the air based on the the technology that's in there and you can't control the temperature from hot or cold and have that purification process so I definitely think this is one of the best purifiers heaters and fans that you can have for 2021 being that we're at home during quarantine and different types of you know times that we're in I think this is something to look into and if you are interested you can check the link below and I appreciate your time thank you so much for watching world media channel like and subscribe to the video